All right. First question is from Cameron Daniel 71. Is working out once a week with a balanced diet enough to create a respectable physique? Oh, depends what you mean by respectable, but I will say this. Yeah, what's res respectable? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean by that? A good, a good, Show me what you're working a with. A good diet yeah. would be a much better word to use there, but you say something like respectable, it makes me question yeah, yeah, what you mean by that. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty respectable. Respect. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Um, I I've trained lots and lots of clients that only worked out with me once a week. Um, did their bodies change? The diet made the biggest difference in terms of the, the fat loss and whatnot. Once a week, I got people's strength to go way up. Now, I didn't get them to, you know, to be uh, as strong as they could be. I didn't get them to, uh, to, to lift weights that were just, you know, blew their minds. But I would double or triple their strength from when they were sedentary. You know, this is the beauty of resistance training. Resistance training is the only form of exercise where you can spend one to three hours a week and get a huge return for the time that you spend. If you go to the, if you do, if you run for one hour a week versus one hour a week of real good resistance training, that resistance training is going to yield you tremendous uh, benefits in comparison. It's it's not ideal, but I do want to say this: some exercise is better than none. Well, it's just like the question yeah. we answered the other day. Yeah, yeah. Someone just asked a question on the last call about, um, you know, is it worth it for me to train if my diet is all out of whack? Should I, if sure. I'm if I'm not dialed in nutritionally, should I waste my time going in and lifting and you know, and my response was, you know, the young, the younger me would had that same attitude. I was all or nothing, but something is always better than nothing. And believe it or not, if you, especially one of those things by themselves, just exercising one time a week and doing a shitty diet is better than not exercising whatsoever and not exercising at all. And having a good diet is better than nothing at all. So the combination of you saying that you have a respectable, which I'm going to assume respectable is leaning more towards a good diet. No, no, no. It's respectable physique. Oh, respectable physique. Yeah, oh, yeah, I thought yeah, they meant yeah. their diet was no, respectable. The, the diet is balanced. Oh, okay. The diet. Yeah. Okay, so diet. If you have a balanced diet and you're training one day a week, yeah, you could, you could build a respectable physique. Are you going to compete? No. Are you yeah. going to land a cover of a magazine? No. But you absolutely can. I well, train tons gonna of be, Yeah, that's going to be in in their eyes. You know that that's from their perspective. If you're happy with it, then that's all that matters. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know you can maintain your physique, you know, very well with once a week and good nutrition. But uh, in terms of like getting respect for your physique, you know, like that's something that uh, I mean, that's a different conversation. Yeah, it's you know, it's a weird. There's this weird thing around working out where it's like either I do it all and I'm serious or it's not worth it. It's not that's not a totally wrong approach. No. That's not true at all. Um it's you, once a week is far better. I started off so many clients this way. In fact, this was my MO. I would get a an older person that would come in, so over the age of 65, that was the my my advanced age clients and Nine out of 10 times, I would start them off once a week because they would come in and they'd be afraid and intimidated. You know, they'd be referred by a doctor. They'd come see me and then they would be relieved to hear me say the following. You know, I'd say to them, look, uh, we just did our assessment. You're very deconditioned. I could do a lot with you just once a week. Just come in, see me once a week and we'll start right there and we'll see what that looks like. And they loved it. And you know what ended up happening? I'd train them for once a week and after about six months or a year, I inevitably, they would come up to me and say to me, hey, Sal, do you think we could work out another day a week? Absolutely. Let's do it. But it's a great starting point. And even if you never do anything more than that, it's still better yeah. than nothing. Don't it's let a your, foundation. Yeah, don't, at least. Let, don't let yourself not start because you think it's not worth it because you're not totally serious. It's like br brushing your teeth and flossing. You know, just because you're inconsistent with flossing doesn't mean you should throw out brushing your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Keep the brushing your teeth going. Try and floss as much as you possibly can. But as far as overall gum health and teeth health, it's probably beneficial yeah. for you to do both. Oh, my God. I, I wish my mom lifted weights once a week. I think she would get phenomenal results. Here's a great once a week yeah, routine. Right. Mm -hmm. Go into the gym. Do one exercise per body part. Do about three sets. Um, and then you're in and out, take you about 45 minutes to 60 minutes max, and then you're done. And then the rest of the week, here's what I would tell you. The rest of the week, just try to maintain a decent amount of activity through steps. Mobility. Yeah, or, or well, yeah, yeah. mobility for I sure. Mean, that, I mean, in a perfect world, if I because tr I'm trying to get even my parents, same thing. Like, I was talking to my, my dad's uh, wife who is getting ready to do hip surgery, and I'm like, man, if, they, if I could just get them to do – uh, hip mobility work, you know, for 15 minutes a mm -hmm. day, like that, that's a huge win. Even if they, I can't even get them in the strength train. I mean, I would love for her to strength train one day a week 
And then the rest of the week is all mm-hmm. like hip and ankle mobility that whenever she has five minutes. And that was the conversation I was trying to explain to him was like, don't overthink this. It doesn't need to be like this planned out. I need an hour of my morning to do some of this work. It's like, you're doing nothing right now. Just getting down in this position, spending five minutes there is way better than nothing at all. And then let yourself make that a habit and then build upon that. Mm-hmm.